Onivia, League of Legends highlights. But top side there with the rumble into an orn, yep. you're going to have a pushing lane. You're going to have a very uh, volatile uh, aggro side from Cloud9 to give Blabber a lot of control to work with. And on the bottom side as well with Callista. I believe they were number one and number two over any player at all in the entire LCS. So the super team was working pretty well in week one. And Blabber they had already on energy too. So it's not like it was an easy week for them, right? Certainly oh, are we diving well. here? I think we're going for it. Vulcan and Berserker want this real bad. Barely get Tomo. They will trade Vulcan for it. Isles, how bad do you want this? Gets flash out of Berserker. Here. Oh, Berserker doesn't see XU here. One more minion to hit. He's getting aggressive on the Tomo. Berserker, this is not the time to go in. XU with the big punish. This run stack should not be enough to take down Tomo. He gets out. Flash from Isles. Isles actually gets the kill credit. Now Vulcan and Blabber are here to try and trade one back. Teleport in from Fudge. No, he just walked all the way down. Never mind. The Rumble actually picks up a kill. Skirmish. So yeah. nice look from Cloud9. They get the first dragon. Level six for Blabber. And the early game also recovered. One thing we're calling out is the roam from Fudge. Uh, the priority that you get when you're Rumble versus a tank is mo is usually best used oh. by that type of play. Back to live. We got the kill on the dove already. Black Successful move here for Dig to at least be able to get one dragon for themselves super early on. That allowed here. Yeah, we'll see about that if the flash gets punished because well, right now Rumble does so much damage, but doesn't have any of the defense and overheating and flashing on somebody, right, like, yeah, yeah. murdering them. So we'll see if uh, Rich not having the Orn ultimate is going to be worth Rumble I'm, I'm not having it. Blabber. They got the combo. The equalizer on top. Doesn't actually get that much damage down. Berserker gets the first kill on the Dove, though. Traded back. X, you burn down to a crest. But the engage. Tomo. Tomo's popping off in the fight. He gets the double kill as Fudge and JoJo finally take him down. But it did a lot of work for Dignitas. The rest are in full. We will have the Paranoia up again because of Blabber picking up that early hex plate. But they're not going to contest. This is the second dragon for Dignitas. Cloud yeah, Nine will be there. Their avenue here, but Dignitas, even though it is 3.6, those carries positioning is so critical, and you know that a Nocturne Oriana oh. combo is going to come through. Judger's got flash, he has to use it early. XU with the nature's advance, twisted advance. Gets onto Jojo, that's the teleport coming out. Now we gotta kill Jojo fast here, Dignitas. If we want the play to work, Bud shows up with the equalizer down. Jojo taking a lot of damage. Exe with the kill credit. Isles and Rich are here as well. Paranoia used. We're not playing, uh, appealing for Dove yet. He tried to peel for himself, but Blabber flashes forward and will equalize the kills. Blabber saving the play for Cloud9. Teleport from the call of the Forge God from Rich. We do not have Tomo in the neighborhood. I do not see a world where Dignitas can actually contest this. Unless just the threat of the Orn is enough, they have the Ren stacks. Cloud9 are not taking the bait. They say keep DPS on the Baron. We will get the objective. We have another teleport coming in as Vulcan hits the ultimate onto Isles and Rich. Dignitas might be able to get their members out, but they will not stop the Baron. Cloud9. Team, you can play for the early ultimates and try and punish lanes that are on weak side, but also around these types of moments in the game, especially if you the go to. Mm -hmm. And the double spell shields too with the build. So it's going to be hard to actually lock him down when he does ult in. Speaking of, we're popping the paranoia yet again. XU, you built tank, but not tanky enough. Has to flash away. It's not Blabber. Oh! The shockwave combo from Cloud9 gets everybody from Dignitas, but Tomo still out putting a lot of damage. Not going to be enough as Blabber goes on a killing spree. Oh! In the middle of what could be the game deciding fight. A huge punish for the Maokai walking in, but they were getting to that yeah. part of the game. You kind of felt like they were coming on. You kind of feel bad for them because, you know, it's, uh, they, they were, like you're saying, yeah. scaling super nicely. Oh. Berserker's probably going to finish it off here. Yeah. So yeah. the only one to live is going to be Isles on, you know, 25 HP or whatever there. So Cloud9 with the Baron buff, with the six Void Grubs. Each person spawns two of these Void Mites, yep. the little Kevins, and <laughs> those also apply the, the extra damage to the tower, so and your pushing splitting. power is insane. They're, they're trying to fully maximize this Baron buff. They're not everybody going down one lane. We take the mid inhibitor turret, we'll Divide take the mid inhibitor, and, and we took the tier two top. Have, at least for the side of Dignitas, started handing out the Orn items. I think we saw even earlier, uh, Tomo's Infinity Edge was already upgraded. So their job remains the same here for Dig. It's all defense. And we're just jumping right on to Tomo. The combo yet again, this time only on the enemy AD carry. He's surviving for a while, but not long enough. 
Cloud9 pick off the Aphelios. That's probably the last Bastion for Dignitas here as it will try and survive in the fountain. They're losing the front line. It's just Dove and Isles. And Dignitas seem to be falling. Cloud9 continue the win streak against this team. 19 in a row. We are cheering for him, but it is not going to happen today. Cloud9, ooh, nice look from Dove right there. Trying to end on a high note, but Cloud9 are just inevitable. Continuing their dominance of the LCS. Cloud9 will go 3-0. The power of the void in full effect. Cloud9 got all of the void grubs. Yep. They got the Rift Herald and they got the Baron.